Hi there, a very warm welcome to the Home Buyer's Guide on Magic Bricks Now. I'm Kamya Varma. Now, if you are on a lookout for that dream home but are not sure how to go ahead, then you've come to the right place. I have all the listings and information you need to make the right choice. In today's show, I have three of the hottest properties lined up just for you. So, let's get started. Well, first up, Mumbai, the city with a view, the maximum city and the financial capital of India. Well, it's also one of the most expensive real estate markets in the country. If dazzling city of dreams Mumbai is where you wish to buy the property, then this is the place to be. Today on Home Buyer's Guide, we get you an inside look at three of the hottest properties on offer. If you plan on living in Mumbai or if you're already a Mumbaikar, then you will already know that one of the most important aspects of everyday life in the city is connectivity. A well-connected city. Isn't that any home buyer's dream? While well, cost and location should be your priority in a city as expensive as this, it's also important for you to consider whether your surrounding areas are well-connected. Expensive real estate is reason why so many people choose to live far away in the suburbs or outskirts of Mumbai. So while looking for that dream home, always ensure that you have plenty of public transport, rail connectivity and good roads nearby, especially if you plan on living in places like Kalyan or Panvel. In today's episode of the Home Buyer's Guide, I'll be showing you the hottest properties in three of the most sought neighbourhoods in the maximum city. First, we'll take a look at the eastern suburb of Thane. Then, we'll talk about a project in Panvel. And we'll end today's show with a project in Mumbai's business hotspot, the Bandrakulla Complex. Let's start off with a look at our first project nestled within Mumbai's eastern suburbs. Well, when it comes to desirability, Thane ranks pretty high on the central line. It's one of the most happening places in the city. And why not? Good connectivity, multiple infrastructure projects, Proximity to schools, colleges and hospitals makes Thane a good bet. The city is known for its large townships and gated communities. What's interesting is that most of the projects are coming up on former industrial plots which means large open spaces and a range of outdoor and indoor lifestyle amenities. Clearly, Thane should top your list if you are looking at the three C's. Cost, Comfort and Connectivity. If you are looking to buy your dream home in Thane, who should you be considering? Now, choosing a builder among so many could be a daunting task. Let's take a look at a couple of options for you. Now, one of the reputed builders with a good track record in Thane is Hiranandani Developers. In Thane, the Hiranandani Estate Township is among the most celebrated living spaces. If a township is what you'd like to buy into, Hiranandani has a project opening uh, for booking right now. Well, that's right. I'm talking about Hiranandani Rodas in Clay. Anyone who buys a home in Mumbai knows it's all about the location, location and location. Let's explore the neighbourhood then. Well, Rodas in Clay is located in Thane West, which is off Gorbandar Road. Good news is that this place is well connected. The Eastern and the Western Express highways are just a 7-minute drive away. The Thane Railway Station is also close by as is NH3 and NH4. Now, there are about five bus stops within a one-kilometer radius. The International Airport is an hour drive away. Now, Thane being in the central line ensures that it is well connected with the city of Mumbai. Now, there are at least five ATMs, five schools, two hospitals and multiple pharmacies within a kilometer and a half radius. So, all your basic needs will be well taken care of. What else is Thane known for, you ask? Well, Thane is also known for the city of lakes and the Ullas River, is, which is in the vicinity of the township. The picturesque hills of Yeur and Parsik are close by, as is Masunda Lake, which is Thane's biggest lake. Clearly, you will be embraced by lush greenery if you choose to move here. Well, now that we've got the neighbourhood in place, let's dive into the project. The Rodas Enclave is an ultra-luxury cluster of about 18 buildings with 18, 24 and 28 floors. It offers lavish 2, 3, 4 and 5 VHK apartments. The apartments range from 1000 square feet to 3600 square feet in size. Currently, the buildings are at plinth level. Construction is underway at the moment and possession is expected by December 2016. Now, before you get to the cost of the apartment, 
it's important for you to do a background check on the builder. Let's take a look at the builder's background. Now, Hiran Andani Developers, based in Pawai, has 37 years of experience under its belt. Hiran Andani has completed over 70 buildings and has several projects underway as well. In Mumbai itself, the group has five projects that are currently underway. Two projects are underway in Bangalore and Chennai as well. The developer is present in three cities, namely Mumbai, Bangalore and Chennai. The group is known for the residential townships across the city of Mumbai. What's more? Well, they are also the largest company to undertake slum rehabilitation in the country. Well, now that you've got the background out of the way, how much will this set you back by? The project is priced at 13,000 rupees per square foot. Some quick math will tell you that a 2 BHK will cost you upwards of a crore and a half rupees, while a 3 BHK will cost you close to 2 crore rupees. And a 4 BHK will cost you upwards of 4 crore rupees. Now, if you are looking out for an apartment with a lot of space to move around in, there are 5 BHK apartments as well, but that would cost you upwards of 6 crore rupees. However, buying a home is not all about the cost. For this kind of money, what are the amenities that you can expect? Rura's Enclave gives you plenty of oomph. The project promises a landscaped garden with flower beds and cascades, a mini theatre, children's play area, restaurant, party lounge and a business centre. If you are a fitness enthusiast, well, there's plenty in store. There'll be cycling and jogging tracks, tennis and badminton courts, a gym, swimming pool, meditation, spa and yoga areas. A unique feature of the Rodas Enclave is its floating clubhouse with a multitude of modern amenities. So clearly, there's plenty of on offer for the price tag it comes with. But what's the USP of this project? Well, for me, the USP of the project is the design. All the buildings in Rodas Enclave have been designed by renowned architect Hafiz Contractor. Another design touch is that the landscape has been done by Parade in Singapore. Hiranandani's in-house design team has been working in tandem with Parade in Singapore for the landscape design. Now, if I were to describe it in one line, I would say it's modern with a green touch. Well, this is an apt description for the Hiranandani Rodas and Clay, isn't it? look at the downside now. All good projects come with their own set of disadvantages. And one of the biggest disadvantages that Thani has at this point in time is the water scarcity that it is currently facing. It is well known that Maharashtra has been facing scarcity of water for quite some time now and the monsoons have been insufficient this time around and this is translated into water cuts in this area. So you may want to wait it out before you move into Thane, at least until the government is able to resolve the water crisis in the area. Well, that was the first of the three projects that I handpicked for you. It's time for a short break on Magic Bricks Now, India's first real estate channel. But stay with me. When I get back, I'll tell you about Marathon's next zone project in Panvel. Don't go anywhere. See you on the other side. Welcome back. You're watching the Home Buyer's Guide on Magic Bricks Now. Well, if there's one thing that all the analysts on this channel agree with, it is the fact that one of the hottest investment destinations in Mumbai metropolitan region is Panvel. And it's all because of the proposed airport and the ceiling. Now, if you've noticed the price trends in this region recently, it has seen a sharp rise ever since the proposal was announced. So if you're keen on investing here, then rest assured, you can expect good appreciation in the next few years. And talking about investment, if you're planning to buy a home in Panvel, a project that you could consider is Marathon's Next Zone. Well, sounds interesting, isn't it? Let's now take a quick look at the location. The project is just a few kilometres or rather a few minutes away from the Palaski Fata, which is the junction of NH4, NH4B and NH17. The Panvel rail station is also just 3 kilometers away, while the Panvel bus terminus is 4 kilometers away. 
The proposed Navi Mumbai International Airport is also just about 7 kilometers away. So it clearly has good connectivity and that is definitely a big plus. And like we say here on Magic Bricks now, whenever you're on house hunting, keep in mind location, location and location. Talking about location then, another plus point of this area is its proximity to the Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust or JNPT. Now, JNPT is not only a dedicated freight corridor, in fact, it also part, uh, forms a part of Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor. Could there be more plus points here? Well, the answer is yes. Coming back to the project, a proposal is underway to build a complex within the next zone itself. So, what all will the township have on offer? Well, there will be a complex, hypermarket, convenience store, and shopping centre, all within the township itself. And if you have children and want them to go to school that's in close proximity to the project, then don't worry. There are at least six schools within three to six kilometers of the project. So clearly all your basic amenities are sorted and set. Sounds good so far, right? Well, now that we've got the neighborhood in place, let's dive into the project. Marathon's next zone will be a premium township of two and two and a half BHK apartments spread over 25 acres of land. The project will have 19 towers and each tower will be of 21 storeys. How many apartments will you find here? Well, there will be about 2,300 apartments here. And coming to the size of these apartments, they will be 700 square feet to 1,475 square feet in size. Construction is already underway for the project and it is expected to be completed and ready for possession by December 2019. Well, one thing you need to keep in mind every time you or your loved one decide to go house hunting is to ensure that you do a background check on the builder that you wish to buy into. So before we proceed any further with this project, let me give you a quick background check of the builder. Marathon Realty has over 45 years of experience in the sector. The company is based in Mumbai and the builder has completed over 80 projects and has 18 million square feet of land under development. The builder has been facilitated multiple times for its innovative ideas. They were also the first company in the country to implement e-property registration for their project. Marathon has seven completed projects, five ongoing projects and four upcoming ones in Mumbai. The Marathon Group is known for its high-rise residences and corporate as well as IT parks in the city. It's time now to look at the project cost and what will this project set you back by? Well, the project is being priced at 6,000 rupees per square foot. So a home here will cost you anywhere between 47 lakh rupees to 1 crore rupees. So for this kind of price range, what kind of amenities can you expect? Let's take a look. Well, earlier I told you that Marathon Next Zone will have a shopping centre and a convenience store housed within the complex. What else is on offer? Well, the project promises a state-of-the-art clubhouse, a gymnasium, along with the gamut of facilities for recreation, fitness, including a health club, jacuzzi, tennis court and swimming pool. The building, as expected, will have landscaped gardens, a jogging track, multi-level car parking and CCTV security system. Clearly, all the modern amenities that today's home buyer would expect from this kind of a project is available. What else is this project offering? Well, if you would like to be closely connected with Mother Nature, that is an offer as well. In fact, one of the big advantages of this project is the vast greenery that it is surrounded by. Marathon Next Zone has breathtaking views of the Panvel Hills and like I just told you, has plenty of greenery surrounding it. Now, what if I tell you that Next Zone offers stunning views of the greenery in an exclusive setup? Sounds interesting, right? Well, the project also has an offer exclusive double height sun decks where you can bask in the beauty of gorgeous sunrises and sunsets. There's a catch though. Like I said, these sun decks are exclusive. So if you want this exclusive view, you will need to buy into their gold zone premium apartments to avail this. So you may want to consider these premium apartments if you would like to have a million dollar view every dawn and dusk. So there's plenty of amenities on offer, great views and a good location. What is the USP of this project though? Well, for me, the clincher here is the proximity to the upcoming Navi Mumbai airport. So if you're considering an investment in this project or if you want to buy your first home here, then the Marathon Next Zone is a project that looks interesting. 
Let's also quickly take a look at the disadvantages of this area. One issue that Navi Mumbai residents face is traffic snarls. Commuters do face a lot of trouble when it comes to traffic, especially during the peak hours. Infrastructure, which the government is focusing on in this area, is also taking time to be enhanced. However, these problems don't tend to be overtly troublesome for buyers interested in this area, but should be kept in mind while investing in a home in Panvel. with two of the three projects that I handpicked for you. It's time for another short break here on Magic Bricks Now, India's first real estate channel. But don't go anywhere. When we get back, we'll explore Rustam Ji's Oriana project at VKC. Stay tuned to Magic Bricks Now. Welcome back. You're watching the Home Buyer's Guide on Magic Bricks now with me, Kamya Verma. But for a very long time, Mumbaikas faced a lot of difficulty when it came to travelling to Nariman Point every day. The city was not as well connected as it is today. And thankfully, those days are long gone and commuting towards Nariman Point has become easier all due to major infrastructure overhauls in the city. The interesting point to note here is that Mumbai's business hub has shifted from Nariman Point to Bandra Kulla complex. So if you think of a central business district in Mumbai, BKC might just be the first place that comes into your mind. One dream that most of us share is the wish to live close by to work. Every day, both you and I spend majority of our time at our respective workplaces and at the end of the day, the last thing either of us would want to do is have a long commute back home. So a dream home for both you and I could possibly be one that is right next to your office. So if you work in VKC and are looking out for a home in the vicinity, then I have a project for you. If given an opportunity, would you like to walk to work? Well, I'm guessing the answer is yes. So if you are a walk to work kind of a person, then Rustam Ji's Oriana project at VKC Annex is the one project that you could consider. Before I tell you more about the project, let's look at the neighbourhood. The Bandrakulla complex is the latest hotspot in the maximum city. There are plenty of restaurants, international schools, hospitals and five-star hotels in the vicinity of Bandrakulla complex. To name a few, there's the Dhirubhai Ambani International School, the American School of Bombay, the MCA Club and the Trident as well as Sofitel Hotel. The business district does face a few traffic bottlenecks every now and then but it still has great proximity to the Western Express Highway and the Bandra Worli ceiling. The Western Express Highway is just a minute away, while the Santa Cruz Chamber Link Road and the Bandra Worli ceiling is only 5 minutes away. Well, another connectivity boost is the proximity to the International Airport and it is a mere 12 minutes away from the airport. Well, so if I had to describe the biggest advantage of the Bandra Kulla complex, it would have to be its excellent connectivity. So what all can we cross off our checklist? Location, check. Connectivity, check. Basic amenities, check. Well, clearly, this is a good location to consider buying your home in. However, it's not all just about location, location and location. It's also about what the project offers you. So let's talk about the project now. Oriana is a 21-storey deluxe residential tower. Luxury, as we all know, stands for exclusivity and this building will only have 64 residential units. What's on offer, you ask? Well, three and four bedroom apartments ranging from 1,800 square feet to 3,600 square feet in size. Construction is already underway and the project is expected to be completed and ready for possession by May 2016. Well, before I tell you more about this project, let's take a closer look at the builder. Rustamji Developers has over 19 years of experience. The builder is based in Mumbai and they have about 26 completed projects, 8 ongoing projects and 3 upcoming projects. Rustamji plans to develop 13 million square feet of space in the next 5 years. The builder is known for their child-centric residential developments. neighborhood and project details crossed off your list, what's the next important thing? Of course, it's the cost. 
Well, the address and the exclusivity don't come cheap. The project is being priced at 35,000 rupees per square foot. So some quick math will tell you that these apartments will set you back by a cool 5.5 to 13 crore rupees. For this kind of a price tag, what kind of amenities can you expect? Well, some of the amenities include an elevated podium level garden, swimming pool, party hall, kids play area and a fitness center with gym. This is what's on offer in the exteriors. What about the interiors? Well, the project offers home automation, air-conditioned apartments, premium imported marble flooring, imported bathroom fittings, granite kitchen platforms and video phone security system. Clearly, there's not only luxury on offer, but also a lot of international appeal as well. So what's the USP of this project? Well, for me, it's the exclusivity and of course the address. So if you would like to live next to the who's who of the city, then look no further. Rustamji or Rihanna is the right choice for you. All good projects come with their own set of disadvantages. And like I mentioned earlier, one of the main disadvantages of Bandra Kulla complex is the traffic snarls that arise here every day, especially during the peak hours. Even though the government is doing its best to improve infrastructure and boost connectivity in the Bandra Kulla complex, it may take a while longer for the traffic-related issues to be sorted out. So until the government resolves this problem, this project might be best suited for those who work close by. Let's quickly revisit the three properties I handpicked for you today. First, I showed you Hiranandani's Doda's enclave in Thane West. It is an ultra-luxury cluster of 18 buildings with 2, 3, 4 and 5 VHK apartments. The apartments cost anywhere between 1.5 crore rupees to 6 crore rupees. The next project I showed you was Marathon's next zone in Panvel. It consists of premium township with apartments in configurations of 2 and 2.5 BHK. These apartments will set you back between 47 lakh rupees to 1 crore rupees. And finally, I showed you Rustamji's Oriana in Bandra Kulla complex. It is a 21-storey deluxe residential tower with 3 and 4 BHK apartments. An apartment here will set you back by a cool 5.5 crore rupees to 13 crore rupees. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. We truly hope you found the information useful. Until next time, goodbye and of course, happy house hunting.